Well, when you hear Kalashnikov, you think about different versions of the famous AK-47. We have to keep in mind that we also have to develop new weapons. We have to think about new ways to develop the most efficient weapon for the mission. And uh, on this exhibition, we're presenting two pretty interesting weapons, AMB-17 and AM-17. Well, they differ in calibers. This one is designed for specialized 9x39 subsonic round, which was designed to be used with a suppressor. You can see that it has nothing to do with an AK. In fact, it actually has a lower and upper receiver, just like M16. You remove the pin, and then you basically just separate the upper and the lower receiver, just like that. So you see, there is nothing here from the actual AK. But that is really the only way to make a weapon lighter weight because when you have to base everything on the AK receiver, it's really hard to bring down the uh, weight because you can only make the receiver so light. If you will, if you will try to cut uh, weight anymore, well, it will lose its structural integrity. So with AM and AM17. This is the platform we are going to develop in the next few years and maybe develop a full-size rifle. For now, there is one in 9x39, the same as Val and Venturez. If you know the history of Russian weapons, you know what I'm talking about. And also, a uh, compact assault rifle, AM-17, which is a potential replacement for AKS-74U, which also some people so cr uh, call Krinkov, which makes no sense. Well, and AKS-74U is not in production since 1993. And it's about time we offer something that can potentially replace this famous collection of short barrel